Hey guys, Matthew here. So welcome to module 3 in which we're going to talk about transforms. You might notice that I'm using a different computer in this video. The videos might look a little bit better resolution because of the size of the screen and also you don't get to look at my private life down the bottom. So these videos might therefore in general be a little bit more uh, disinteresting for you. But anyway, moving on. So this is going to be a very very short module. Again, I've already told you this. Uh, and we're going to look at a couple of transforms in detail that you know, we feel are very, very important for your learning. Um, but then we're going to give you a cheat sheet to, to go through it. So just before we start, I just want to go through the kinds of things I've already shown you. So we've done the box command, B-O-X, box, and that lets us draw a box. Uh, we've done line, we've done curve, uh, we've done polyline, and we've done mesh, box, for example, and we've done other th other things that make things, right? Uh, we've done plane as well. Plane's a good one. Um, now, there are two types of commands that generally exist within any sort of software. The first type are the type that make things. So, box makes a box, unsurprisingly. Uh, a curve makes a curve, unsurprisingly. Polyline makes a polyline, unsurprisingly. Line makes a line, unsurprisingly, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's one type of command. There's a completely other type which takes geometry as its kind of input and then edits it. And these are called transforms. So the most basic of all the transforms we've looked at in detail is move. So we can type move, and I can move this 10 units across. So you can think of that as I've, I've, I've simply moved it or I've done a move transform to it. So that's kind of mundanely boring that move is a transform, but it's true and it's important. Another transform we have looked at very, very quickly was the rebuild transform, which allowed the curve or the line or the surface to change the number of points or degrees it has. So it takes geometry as an input and transforms it, right? So I'm going to change it to 10, 3. And when I turn points on, you'll notice now it has 10 points, and I can move those points vertically if I like, up. So these are the two kinds of commands in Rhino. So when you think about problems, think about, okay, what geometry do I need? And then what transforms do I need to add to that geometry to get it to become the thing that I require it to be? So this video is a short one. It's just going to talk about this. Then I'm going to talk to you about scale, rotate, maybe some other things a bit later on, but general, it's important to realize the difference between those two. Cool. See you in the next video.